Hi, I'm Alex Ineco and this is Ekai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's word is prelude. Prelude. And I have an accent, so there you go. Prelude. Um, Prelude is one of those words in music history that is used differently in different eras. Let me explain. Um, to the Baroque period, to Johann Sebastian Bach, a prelude it is logically a piece that comes before another piece. So the prefix pre, pre it means before something. So. In his uh, very well-known, the well-tempered clavier, Johann Sebastian Bach wrote preludes followed by fugues. There are 48 preludes followed by 48 fugues. Prelude in C major followed by a fugue in C major. Prelude in C minor followed by a fugue in C minor and so forth and so on. If we think of Bach's uh, suites, the prelude is the first piece, it's kind of an, like an overture, which is another funny word because an overture is not an overture to anything. So if you think of, it may be like a, an opera overture or it may be a, the overture 1812, uh, the 1812 overture by Tchaikovsky, which doesn't ov open anything. It's just an overture, it's the name of the piece. The same thing happens to prelude later on in the Romantic period. So Chopin wrote preludes, which are preludes to nothing. It's just the name that he decided to put to the, 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 the piece. So the nocturne, the prelude, that's that sort of thing. So it's just a romantic name. It's not a prelude to anything. Another interesting example is the prelude to the afternoon of a faun by Debussy. Prelude à la midi d'un faun which also is a prelude to nothing. It's the name of the piece is prelude to the afternoon of a fawn without being the opening to anything else, okay? I hope I didn't confuse you, uh, but that's what prelude is. This is Akai's Musical Encyclopedia, and I hope you have subscribed to the channel.